Well, there's no sugarcoating it. This building in Joplin, it's a piece of work. Oh my God, look at that place, it's a mess. <laughs> and yet, amidst the dilapidation, Taylor Kubitschek has a vision. Uh, initially, I passed it over, honestly, because I, I knew the building was in pretty bad shape. <laughs> and I said, well, who, who's gonna buy that, you know? Turns out it was me. <laughs> and it, it intrigued me because the, the mural on the outside, which is something I, I did with the Tank Group, which was a group of local artists, uh, five years ago, we painted that mural on the outside of the building. I said, oh, look, the Bullseye Building's for sale. Interesting. That tank was part of a larger platoon of change that's been rolling in over the years. The art scene in Joplin has grown immensely since Taylor was a kid. I think, uh, you know, like art centers locally, like Spiva and the upcoming Cornell Complex, um, they really anchor uh, arts in this town. Um, but I think for arts to be regenerative, it has to be at a grassroots level, and, and uh, it really has to be, has to be uh, taken on by local artists. So, as a local artist, he's doing exactly that. Which seems ambitious, but I'm ambitious. Turning something forgotten into something memorable. I also come from a construction background, so it's just not hard to me. This building's not on the map in 1890, but in 1900 it's there. It just says produce on it. While still learning the building's past, Taylor can see its future. Fundraising through the sale of his own work, his goal is to convert it into a gallery and studio space for local artists like himself and add another anchor to his hometown's art scene. Absolutely. I, I think uh, an artist doesn't need to keep his vision um, on the easel. They can take it and do something like this. They can take an old derelict building and uh, turn it into another work of art. In Joplin, Jesse Irwin. K-O-A-M. I might have rehearsed that one.